Today, we will be making Windows 10 more secure. <sighs> I have too many computers. Today, I will be showing you how to fix up your privacy settings on Windows 10. <sighs> so then Microsoft can't really see what you're doing much. What you're gonna wanna do is type in in the search bar here, settings, this. What you're then gonna wanna do is in this find a setting box, type in privacy. It's also, um, oh. It's also right here as well. I use search because I couldn't, I forgot that that was there. But yeah, privacy, just click on that. And I'm gonna tell you guys some of these settings here. So first, let apps use your advertising ID to make ads more interesting to you. I have this off. I don't want advertisers to, or Microsoft to see that and give me personalized ads. I don't wanna, <laughs> it's just, I don't just don't want that. I don't like how there are ads like that in Windows. Let websites uh, provide locally relevant content by accessing my language list. Uh, I don't have that one on myself. Uh, you can have it on based on if you want the websites to see that or not. Let Windows track app launches to improve start and search results. I have this one off as well. And the reason is I don't want Windows or Microsoft to see what I open. And that's just me with my own privacy stuff. And right here, show me suggested content in the settings app. This one I have um, on, although you, you can do whatever you want with it, I guess. Use your voice for dictation. Now, if you use Cortana, like this button down here, if I could pop it up, this one right here, then you have to have this enabled. You can see if I turn I on, sure. What? Okay, something's not syncing up here. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want to use Cortana, like to set up uh, stuff, like just ask her what the weather is or anything, anything, then you need to have that enabled. So down here, inking and typing personalization. Note that if this is on, I'm pretty sure this is required. Is it required for Cortana? I'm not 100% sure. This is pretty much a keyboard logger and a writing logger. When this is switched off, obviously um, Microsoft won't be able to see it. It says your ink uh, dictionary will be cleared. I'm assuming that is for the touch keyboard, if I can get it to show up. Keyboard doesn't seem to want to open probably because Again, I'm not using a touch from here. So when this is switched off your person, I already went over that. So diagnostic data, if you have this set to full, first of all, you have the set to full, this option is here, send inking and typing data to Microsoft. This is another keyboard logger. They have several of these, it's kind of annoying. I have it set to basic, which turns off this setting. If you keep this at full, look what this is sending and I want to make sure that you are okay with this because I'm not like seriously Microsoft just stop send all basic diagnostic data along with info about websites you browse and how you use apps and features plus additional info about device self activity and enhanced error reporting none of the bottom ones I don't really like the health and activity well that one a little bit but about websites you browse uh really Microsoft you're really gonna do that that's kind of annoying to do that like seriously uh, it's annoying that uh, Microsoft wants to see what you websites you choose and then you have to go in here to turn most of it off and I can't just right here you can't turn all of it off right here tailored experiences let Microsoft offer you tailored experiences based on the diagnostic data you have shown so this is personalized tips ads and other things I have this one off not a huge deal but view diagnostic data turn on this setting to see your data in the diagnostic data viewer um, I have this one off what does this do Oh, you need to download the app from the store. Delete diagnostic data that Microsoft has collected. That is, I'm pretty sure, just stuff up here. You can request to delete. I've like pushed this button 50 million times. So uh, Windows should ask for my feedback. This is auto, it's set to this automatically. So Windows should ask for my feedback. I have that set to never because it's not asking you about how the computer is. You can, it's right here if you want to do that. But what it is basically is asking your computer for data, pretty much. That's what this setting is. It's not popping up a dialogue or something down here saying like, send this or like, how is your Windows thing doing? But that's not what this setting is. Microsoft automatically fixes certain critical problems on your device to keep it running smoothly. We also recommend troubleshooting other problems. Uh, this is recommended troubleshooting. I forgot to mention that. How much uh, do you want Microsoft to help when we find other issues on your device that we might be able to fix? And it will pop up a dialogue here. Tell me when problems get fixed. Ask me before fixing problems, only critical problems for me. This is just, troubleshooting I don't find that what a bad setting this one right here anything if this box is ticked on right here anything that you open or any file that you've used Microsoft sees so that if you don't want Microsoft to see that then untick this now note that if you do have this off these files down here it will have less days like I can go only back to the 14th I think so that's that and then clear obviously clears the history um, and then the activities are there as well. So here are the, um, I'll scroll down just a tad bit. Here are the app permission stuff, all that. And right here, allow access to location on this device. This is specifically used, my mic icons there. 
it would pop up this icon uh, down here or in here, one or the other. And that would basically tell you when the computer is using your location. I have all these off except for weather, which I haven't even set up yet. So I forgot to do that. I just got this PC not too long ago. So allow access to the camera on this device. If you allow access, people using the device will be able to choose if their apps have camera access by using the settings on this page. Right here, this is just obviously camera access. I have that set to the camera and nothing else. Uh, by default, by the way, camera will be on for Microsoft Edge. Which, even though it says that, I just I don't feel that that's right. In fact, by default, I think all of these are on. Or, well, not all of them, but some. And then right here, allow desktop apps to access. I have OBS um, running it. Obviously, that's how my camera is working here. So, uh, oh. Uh, allow access to the microphone on this device. This right here, so I noticed Cortana. Uh, I'll mention this in a second. But allow apps to access the microphone. If you allow access, you can choose what apps have access to your microphone by using the settings. Denying access blocks apps from accessing, obviously. And while well, an app is using it. Uh, ooh, no, I didn't know those were there, but it says while it's using it, you'll see this. It's currently using it uh, in OBS. So choose what Microsoft Store apps can access your microphone. For whatever reason, Cortana, I turned off. It's back on. So you might want to come in here for, or somewhat often and see what settings that is. That's kind of that's kind of crap that Microsoft is turning these things back on. Voice activation. Choose whether apps can listen to for a voice keyword then continue continue listening off. I don't want this setting on. <sighs> and you can see it even has uh, Cortana down here. That's the only app I have that uses that but I still don't want that on. I don't use Cortana anyways. Notifications. Allow. Uh, that's just these little buttons down here. Account info. Uh, nope. I don't want that one on. You can see that turned off edge, I think. Yeah. Uh, contacts. All apps to access your contacts. Uh, you yeah, know, I don't want that setting on either. Calendar. Um, I'm going to disable this setting here. I specifically, I forgot. I, I need to turn that back on. I have it for the calendar. Obviously, following built-in apps always have access to your calendar. Well, then why is there a setting here? That's kind of stupid. Allow phone calls on this device. Um, no. I don't want my I don't want this computer to be able to make phone calls. I know it doesn't have a SIM. But I still don't want it to be able to do that. Allow apps to access your call history. Now this one, I'm gonna turn that one off. Um email. Right here. If you allow access, you can choose what apps can access your email. I have this one on, I use the email thing there. Tasks. Allow apps to access your tasks. There's nothing here, so I'm not gonna bother with the setting. Um allow apps to read or send messages. Yeah, uh no. I don't want my computer to send any kind of text messages. I don't care what it is. I don't care, or I don't care. I just don't want it on. Allow apps to control device radios. Now, I forgot to mention this. These only apply to Metro apps. I use Discord, it's just sitting down in here. Yeah, I use Discord. Um, these settings do not apply to any desktop apps. Radios, allow apps to control device radios. I don't want this one on. Uh, there isn't anything there anyways, but. So you can see some apps use radios like Bluetooth in your device to send and receive data. Sometimes apps need to turn these radios on and off to work their magic. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, no magic for me. I don't want that at all. <laughs> Other devices. Communicate with unpaired devices. This one I've always found stupid right here. I don't want that one on. And the reason is I don't want it to communicate with any device I've never paired with. That's kind of sketchy. Background apps. These are just all the apps that I can run in the background. I don't know why calculator is on, but... Yeah, if you don't want any of these open, like I'm just going to tick through some of the things here. There we go. I've pretty much I've pretty much just thinned out what I want. Automatic file downloads. Windows can automatically download online. This is um, blocked for some reason. It's actually grayed out. It's probably because I don't have one note. Allow access to the documents library. Um, I have these ones on just so then they can... But then again, uh, if you if there are apps that you haven't seen in there before, make sure that you turn those off. Huh. These are all on. I turned uh, a couple of these I turned off. In fact, I turned all of these off now that I think about it. Um, videos allow apps to access your videos library movies and tv needs it camera needs it game bar uh recent video clips i have it on there otherwise i don't have anything else file system the only thing in here is app installer i think yep so <sighs> yeah so you can see how many dumb like privacy settings there are in here uh so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you all later